In this video, I will create a classic painting effect with any image in Affinity Photo. To know the complete process, please watch this video till the end. Hello, and welcome to the Affinity Vibes YouTube channel. Before we begin, if you want to get notified whenever I release a new Affinity Photo Effect tutorial video, click the subscribe button. If you like my work, please hit like, share this video, and leave a useful comment. It's totally free, and it helps me to motivate myself and produce more videos like this for you all. Now, to create your own Mona Lisa, let's get started. First, select your image. Here, you need to select your image wisely. If you are going to create a classic painting effect, then you should select an image that is suitable for this type of art. So do not select this type of image or an image that is not suitable for classic paintings from the Victorian era. Anyway. Select right image. Then make a copy of it by Ctrl J. Go to adjustment and black and white. Affinity photo default black and white present is not a good one. So here I am going to use my own black and white preset. This one. I already uploaded a detailed video about how to make the best black and white preset. So after watching this video, you can watch this video. I will put a link in the description and a button on the right side. Now change this black and white blending mode to darken. Blending mode might be different for you as it depends from image to image. So feel free to check out the best blending effect for you. After that, select both layers and merge the visible to make it one layer. Go to above. Filters. Noise. Add noise. Intensity 50%. Change Gaussian to uniform. Now I am going to use a preset. So above. Tone mapping persona. Now there are a lot of presets. Feel free to check one by one which is going best for you. Here I am using zero compression preset. And increasing a little bit of saturation. Now go to Adjustment. Lens filter to give a vintage orange-yellowish feel. Change the blend mode to overlay. I am increasing the radius up to 80%. Now adding a grunge texture. Change the blend mode to color dodge. And opacity 10%. Few adjustments and repositions. Again, I am adding an old painting texture. You can find all this texture in a Google search. Change the blend mode to the screen. And reduce opacity by 30%. Now using some levels.
Now, this is an optional. I am using a plugins. And that's it. If you found this video useful, remember to like it, share this video, and please leave your useful comment. Also, subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell notification to receive updates on my brand new video. Thank you so much for your support. See you again.